buses for five weeks. Then, a free service, initiated by the People's League for the Defence of Freedom. One of its aims is to help people who suffer from this sort of thing, and with 50 buses, the pirate service began. The char ladies of London welcome the idea. They have to start travelling before the underground opens, and a bus strike hits them more than most. So the mop and bucket special rumbles into early morning London. The capital has coped remarkably well with the strike, but this emergency service lightened the load, especially for the early birds.